guys, welcome to Shabak Visited channel. In today's video, I will show you how to implement producer consumer platform in Shabak Thread. So now, let's get started. Before that, if you are new to our channel, don't hesitate to subscribe and hit the bell button to receive the latest notification. So the producer consumer design pattern is a classic concurrency of trading pattern which reduces coupling between a producer and consumer by separating identification of work with execution of work in producer consumer design pattern a CQ is used to control the flow and this separation allows you to code producer and consumer separately it also addresses the issue of different timing grammars to produce items or consuming items by using producer consumer patterns both producer and consumer thread can work with different speeds. So in this video, we will see what is producer-consumer problem, which is a very popular multi-threaded interview question. How to solve the producer-consumer problem using Java thread and the benefits of using producer-consumer design pattern. Producer-consumer pattern is everywhere in real life and depicts coordination and collaboration. Like one person is free bearing food, uh, represent for the producer, while the other one is serving food, represent for consumer. Both will use a share table for putting food place and taking food place. The product which is the person free bearing food will wait if the table is full and consumer, person who is serving food, will wait if the table is empty. The table is a share object here, so on Java library, the executor framework itself implement producer consumer design pattern be separating the possibility of addition and execution of task. And now let's talk about the benefit of the producer consumer pattern. It's indeed a useful design pattern and used most commonly while writing multi-threaded or concurrent code. Here is a few of its benefits. Firstly, producer consumer pattern simple development you can code producer and consumer independently and concurrently. It just needs to know share object. Producer doesn't need to know about who is consumer or how many consumers are there. Same is true with consumer. Uh, thirdly, producer and consumer can work with different speed. There is no risk of consumer consuming half pack item. In fact, by monitoring consumer speed, one can introduce more consumer for better utilization. And finally, separating producer and consumer functionality results in more clean, readable, and manageable code. So now we will implement the producer consumer pattern. So, first, I will talk about a PC class here. So, this is a class that, both produce, uh, that has both produce and consume methods, a uh, linked list of job and a capacity of the list is added to check that producer does not produce if the list is full. So here we have a produce uh, and consume inside this PC class. And in a producer class, uh, the value is in a line as zero. And also we have an infinite auto loop to insert values in the list. Inside this loop, we have a synchronized block so that only a producer or a consumer thread runs at the time. And in the loop, uh, is there before adding the charge to list that check uh, if the charge list is full, the producer thread gives up uh, the explicit look on PC and goes on winning state. If uh, the list is empty, the control passes to below the loop and it has a value in the list and in the consumer class uh, we again have an infinite loop to extract a value from the list inside we also have an inner loop which checks if the list is empty uh, if it is empty then we make the consumer thread give up the lock on pc and pass it the control to produce a thread for producing more chop if the list is not empty, we go around the loop and remove an item from the list. And in both methods, uh, we use 
modify at the end of all statement. The reason is simple. Once you have something in list, you can have the consumer thread consume it. Or if you have consumed something, you can have the producer and produce something. And also the slip method at the end, both method just make the output of the RAM run in stepwise manner and not display everything all at once so that you can see what actually is happening in the program. And in our main method here, we call the class BC and for that has both produce and consume methods, we create a producer thread using thread here, we write it, run it. Here we call BC dot produce, and we create consumer thread, uh, which is also similar to the uh, producer thread, and we start both thread, and use T one dot join and T two dot join, and now we will see the result. Yeah. That's it, and that's all on how to implement producer consumer pattern in Java Thread or example of producer consumer design pattern. I'm so it's much better than with uh, notify example, but prepare with both if you're going to for any Java interview as interview must you uh, both way. And that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If this video is helpful, please give us a like and a comment below. And we will have many more videos waiting for you in the next time. So, see you guys in the next video.